Welcome back gamers. This is Wintermute. I'm going to try the uh try a new map today. And I'm going to I'm going to build a moon base instead of starting with the Mars base. I'm also going to start underneath uh someone else's charter. Uh, I have a I'll, I ha I have a map already on Mars, so I'm going to join make that my parent colony using this custom charter code. You guys can join my uh, charter or Commonwealth if you if you want. That that's the code there. You might have to pause to see it, but so like I said, instead of the red planet, I'm going to try a lunar and call it a name. Let's call it uh, Moonbase One, and I'm going to use medium uh, just because it's a bit faster, medium sized map. And let's go abundant resources. So the nice thing about starting under someone else's charter is that they can send you resources and you can send them back resources if, if you want. I'm not sure if I'll do that, but it's just a nice option. So here we are on the moon base. Um, similar to Mars, except there's no ore. Um, you have to kind of make your own ore, and there's these things called regolith deposits. So you use regolith um, for doing a bunch of stuff, which I'll get into. So we'll get our lunar rover harvesting right away, and we'll build some other rovers. Gotta wait for some regolith. as I produce them all. Get them harvesting. I usually like to make about 10 to start off, or some fraction of that. And also I like to kind of park them off into one place so I know where to get them. And I also like to leave a few just for building. So we'll get those harvesting, and then we'll have some dedicated builders over here. So let's start building some stuff. Small helium, helium extractor, helium-3 extractor. So helium-3 is uh, unique to the moon. It's the only kind of place that you can get it. So let's build a few of those over here. They take 100 regolith. So don't build four, because that won't work. <laughs> You'd, you don't have enough power to actually generate helium. And we need helium-3 to build some more stuff. Like the regolith compact. It also requires power, so we're going to need to sell another one of these to be able to have enough power to build one. So, regolith compactor. Let's build one down here. This map also starts with some uranium, gold, and aluminum deposits all over the map. So now we've got a regolith compactor. This thing takes regolith and compacts it into ore. So this is our mechanism for getting ore, kind of like on the Mars map. We just mined it directly, but here we got to mine regolith and compress it. And the next thing we want to build is a small solar panel so we can get some power going, but for that we need some ore. So, so now we can uh, build a few more of these compactors. Actually, just one. We only have enough power for one. So I recommend only actually building one helium extractor first and then one regolith compactor because you're going to need the third unit of power to get your greenhouse going. And you start to run out of food pretty pretty soon, pretty early, so I'm already out of food. So I had to build that greenhouse quickly. Now we're f our food is going up again. But it's going to take a while before we can build the next few buildings. 
So now we got enough ore, 150 or so, or so, so we can build a solar panel. So let's do those down here. It's a bit of a slower start on the moon base than it is on the Mars base. But it is supposed to be harder, so I guess that makes sense. So now we got some more power. We should look at getting some water, but we're going to need some ore for that. Which will take some time. We can afford another solar panel, so we'll build one of those. And some more compactors. I have a feeling we're going to be building a lot of these. <laughs> so we are running out of food and water slowly. On the Mars map there was ice deposits, but not on this moon map, so it's up to us to make water. And we make it with this water extractor, which consumes regolith uses helium and produces water. So now we got ore flowing in at least a better rate. We're going to need a small vehicle factory next. Which we should have pretty soon. That's going to unlock a bunch of other building options, I think. keep building these compactors though because they'll speed up our ore production and some more helium because we're running out of that as well. I'm actually going to deactivate a few of these compactors so we have enough power to build the small vehicle factory and get it going. Put that over here. Deactivation is nice because it, it lets you use kind of micro micromanager power. So new building options. We can build a water bot. I didn't see any ice deposits, but yeah, so that water bot's not going to be doing anything. We can build a builder bot and a regolith miner. Pretty sure the regolith miner is a more efficient version of the these standard rovers, so we'll get it harvesting right away. And the builder bot, which is what we need. Let's park that over here. Oh yeah, so a lot of extra stuff just got unlocked, so... But we want to get food and water taken care of first. So water extractor... Let's put that down here. Let's view, I guess. 80 or 100 regolith. And we can build regolith mines, which are nice because then we won't have to be traversing all over the map for those. I'm going to take some of these rovers. Actually, they're already building. Take some of the ones that are harvesting and park them for just building. Because our. Oh, we're out of power, so we need to. We can build some more power first. Nope. Let's deactivate all of these. Deactivate all of these. Got enough ore. To build some more solar panels. So let's build one here. Not. What are we missing? We got 150 ore. Oh, I just didn't hit confirm. So now we have enough power, we can activate all these again. Activate these. And 
Okay, and we probably want some more regulus compactors. I feel like we're gonna need a lot of ore, so it's good to build those. So we got some atmosphere being built. I'm not sure which building's pumping that out, but it's good. I guess eventually we'll be it'll become like an Earth like planet. This regolith mine, I'm going to build one of those over here. So it uses five hundred regolith. seem to want to build it. Build another regolith miner. And move him to this so he starts building. There he goes. I'm not sure why the other one didn't go. We've got a crushed regolith path, which is I guess like a road. And checkered road. Probably build some paths eventually. So we've got a new regolith mine here. I wonder if we put a compactor right beside. Right beside the mine. If he'll just go straight to the compactor instead of this building. Yeah, so they're harvesting and they're not moving, which is great. So what we want to do is build a road around the compactor and then build a bunch of regulus mines on the outer edge. Actually, not 